Hello, my name is Brother Derek Wright, and welcome back to Calvary's Corner. Um, today, I want to give a quick, condensed message on a subject that I dealt with a lot uh, with teenagers and also when I uh, taught a faith-based drug addiction program uh, called Reformers Unanimous. A lot of times, I dealt with what most of us would commonly call drama. Uh, when uh, dealing with teenagers as well as people with heavy addictions, you know, their emotions and their, their, their thought process are all over the place. And sometimes how they process things and how they deal with things, just like those of us that aren't teenagers and don't have uh, issues with any addictions, is drama. Um, so I have the acronym for that, DRAMA, D-R-A-M-A, uh, Demonic Reactions Always Maliciously Accused. So I don't care if it's on the phone or over the internet or uh, we're gossiping to someone. Generally, it's demonic because the love of Jesus Christ and his graciousness is, is not there. Um, and anything that is not of God is sin, right? So let me give you a for instance. Uh, here's the way we do that. How about this? Uh, you heard about sister such and such, right? Um, let's pray for her because... Her husband's drinking again, and uh, she was at the pantry because they don't have any food because he lost his job. Well, <laughs> you're not really praying, you're gossiping, and you're starting drama. Uh, and that's something that we, as uh, children of God, need to work on, you know, fixing. Um, drama is commonly used to refer to a genre of film or television that's serious. So that lets you know it's not a comedy, it's not funny. You, if you say you want to sit and watch a drama or if you go to that category on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, you're not going to run into things that are going to make you laugh. You're generally going to run into a more serious uh, film. And uh, that's what drama is in our life. It's serious. Um, we have a family member that has been a what we call a drama queen since she was two years old. Everything she, oh, uh, not everything, that's unfair. But constantly, she is emotionally over the top about one thing or another. Uh, so much so, my daughter refers to her on her caller ID as drama queen. Because generally, that's what's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's, the, it's about me syndrome. And it's not just women, it's men um, as well. Uh, it's about the, uh, you don't get to disrespect me. And generally, that comes from some of the most disrespectful people. Um, but it, it's, it's founded in our pride. And let me give you a scripture reference here. If you go to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, it says, Pride cometh before destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. That's what, you know, Jesus is trying to say, you know, before the fall, usually it's a haughty or lift up spirit, which is found in our pride. Our pride generally is, is not forgiving. Our pride generally is not gracious. Our pride generally wants to accuse. Our pride generally wants to be malicious. Our pride generally wants to be critical. And it's something that we have to continue to put in check um, if we're gonna be productive for Christ. Uh, another scripture in Proverbs chapter three, verse 32, for the forward, forward, not forward, forward is an abomination to the Lord. Uh, but the secret, but his secret is with the righteous. Bible says the forward. You say, but there, what's that? You know, and for years when I first got saved, I just would invert those two uh, letters there and I would say forward. But it's forward. Um, if you have a disobedient child or say you uh, you have your dog and you tell your dog to sit and when, instead of sitting, the dog runs the other way, uh, it's being forward. Uh, it's it's um, not, um, it's fasting ourselves uh, to be against God or against what's appropriate. Uh, the Bible talks a lot about forward women uh, and things like that. And so we have to understand that spirit that forward spirit is not of God, and it usually causes and, 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 and it, and it reproduces a lot of drama. You know, in dealing with people, uh, we have to learn to humble ourselves. For instance, uh, not long ago, I was involved in a situation. Uh, it didn't involve me, but I was there as a witness to it, where one church member 
uh, handled something totally different than another church member thought they should have handled it. Uh, and so later I look on Facebook and I see a scripture <laughs> about uh, the spirit and how you handle things. And I know that it was uh, church member A taking a shot at church member, uh, member B. And that was drama. It was unnecessary and it was hurtful. And, um, you know, we do things like that. Why? To gratify our flesh. You know, I constantly when I'm talking to people about situations and, you know, there's a cutoff period where you can say, all right, I've said what I've had to say. And I've even and you can be totally correct. You know, it, I'm not saying that if you have to express something, or you have to talk about something or you have to pray about something that you're you're being a, a drama queen or a drama king. We have to communicate with each other. But there's a point when we know I've crossed over until until um, uh, this being a personal issue. And what I want to do is hurt this person uh, or irritate or frustrate or tear their reputation down. And so, you know, we have to get to a point as Christians where we just say, all right, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to reproduce drama. Uh, that is not of God. Um, uh, let's go to first Peter chapter one, verse 14, first Peter chapter one, verse 14. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust of in your ignorance, but as he hath caught us is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Jesus Christ is saying, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. That's the key word. In your ignorance. God saying, before you knew me, before you had a relationship with me, the things you did, you did in ignorance. But I'm asking you not to fashion yourself like that, but I'm asking you to be holy because I am holy. And, you know, when we start taking the shots uh, at, at the bow of, of, of Christians and each other, God's saying, that's the way you acted in your former, former ignorance. Now that I've given you the word of God, I expect you to handle it differently. And I'm speaking to myself too. I mean, I, I if you know me, I have some opinions. And I had to learn... Um, you know, it's okay to be direct. It's okay to say what you believe, but it's not okay to, to do it to maliciously hurt people or to gratify your own flesh. It's okay to do it when you're uh, promoting the cause of Christ, when you are speaking on what's right. But too often, and, and now we've got to the point where we can hide behind the keyboard and we can say things that we would never say to people face to face. But we've gotten so comfortable in this cyber world and our opinions become so, so uh, strong and so cutting. It's because we've removed the personal aspect of, of what we're doing. And so what I would say is that, and I've had to teach myself this, even here recently, I've seen stuff that I'm like, ah, I can't respond to that. Because if I respond to that, um, it's going to come up across the wrong way. And I just can't say anything. Um, so this message is brief and, and um, I actually... Uh, condensed it as much as I can for the sake of time. But the key thing is, you know what? Let's cut the drama out spiritually. Let's say, you know, I'm going to back away from that. You know, the term we used to use, save the drama for your, right, for your mama. I don't know why anybody's mama would want drama, but I guess that term means she's the only person that's going to deal with you. Uh, but let's strive to be more like Christ. Let's love each other. You know, Christ said some very direct things in dealing with the Pharisees and, and the religious leaders of the time uh, and the, 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 the Christians that were or the people that said that they followed uh, God but didn't. But you know what? He was never hurtful or malicious. Let's work on that. God bless you all. Have a great day. Uh, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to do this. I'm thankful that our pastor has given this uh, open forum for people like me to be able to spread what God has given us. Have a great day and be blessed. Amen.